In this tutorial, I'll be explaining how to upload a game to the Steam Workshop in Tabletop Simulator. When working on a custom project in Tabletop Simulator, it is common to continue saving locally until you feel that your project is complete. As long as you've saved locally, you're the only person who can access your project, but you may eventually want others on the internet to be able to access your project as well. In order to do this, you'll need to upload to the Steam Workshop. Suppose the sample project I have here is ready to be uploaded. If I navigate up to the modding option in the top menu and select workshop upload, I can see a form that will let me fill out the details for my workshop item. There are two different tabs, upload workshop and update workshop. Upload will be used if it's a brand new workshop item, whereas update would be used if you're making changes to a project that's already been uploaded to the Steam Workshop. Since we're doing a new project here, I'll use upload. I can change the workshop title, give it a description, as well as specify a thumbnail image that will be used for my project. If I click the Browse Local Files button, I can select a file from my computer. Here I'm going to select a screenshot that I took of Tabletop Simulator a little bit earlier. You could also specify a URL here that allows Tabletop Simulator to grab the screenshot from an external source. The last option here is to provide tags for your project. If we open this, we see a number of different properties that you can adjust for your project. We already gave our project a name, but the second option here is to specify a type that it'll be sorted under in the Steam Workshop. This could indicate whether the project is a game, whether it simply has objects that could be pulled into other mods, whether it is a map that could be used for another game, whether it's a utility that could be used in other mods, or if it just more generically falls under the modding category. The type specified here will help players find your mod as well as help them understand what it is for. You can also specify a complexity for your game, a playing time range with both a minimum and a maximum playing time in minutes, a number of players with both a minimum and maximum, as well as additional workshop tags. These are just further customization options to help players find your mod in the Steam Workshop. You can select any of these that make sense for your project. Once you're happy with all of the info here, you can close it and we're ready to upload our project. If we click upload, we can see that it begins uploading to the workshop. If we wait for a moment, we should see an option that says that it was successful. At this point, we see this dialog that says that the workshop upload was successful and also gives us the workshop item ID. Whenever uploading a new item to the Steam Workshop, it is going to be given a unique ID that's going to be used in the URL for your mod. You will need this if you ever want to update this mod. However, you don't need to worry too much about remembering it because you could always get it by navigating in your browser and grabbing it from the URL. Now that we've uploaded our mod, let's look at it in the Steam Workshop. You may have the Tabletop Simulator Workshop page bookmarked or find it directly through a search engine. But another way you can access it is through the store page for Tabletop Simulator in Steam by scrolling all the way down and selecting the Visit the Workshop option. This will open up the Tabletop Simulator Steam Workshop in a separate tab. From here, I want to view my workshop files, which can be accessed via this link here. If I scroll down, I can see all of the workshop items that I have uploaded. And here we can see my new game, Test Game, appears here. If we click in, we can see the store page for my workshop item. However, there's a notification at the top here that says the current visibility is hidden. This means that I am the only one that can view this right now, and it will not appear in the Steam search. This gives me an opportunity to finalize some of the details on the store page before making it visible. If we scroll down, we see some options to edit the title and description, add images or videos, add or remove contributors if you had others that were working on this workshop item with you and you wanted to give them access as well, as well as edit some of the social links. If you ever wanted to permanently delete your workshop item, that option can also be found here. Once you are happy with all of the configuration for your workshop item, 
You can make it public by navigating down to Change Visibility and selecting Public. There are some additional options here for Friends Only to only be accessible to your Steam friends, or Unlisted, which means that anyone with the direct link can access it. Once you have selected to change the visibility to Public, your Workshop mod will appear in the Steam search results and others can subscribe to your mod. Eventually, you may want to make changes to a mod that you've already uploaded to the Steam Workshop. Here I've made some simple changes that I now want to push to the Steam Workshop. If I navigate up to Modding and Workshop Upload, I can now go to the Update Workshop tab. Here I will need to specify that Workshop ID that was displayed earlier. The easiest way to grab this is to go to the page for my Steam Workshop item and grab the ID from the URL. Back in my browser, I can see that the URL contains an ID at the end. I can simply select and copy this, and then paste it back into Tabletop Simulator. I also have options here to update the thumbnail or adjust the tags. I'm going to go ahead and change one of these just so that we can confirm that the change actually published to the Steam Workshop. Our game will now be high complexity. Closing this, I can now click Update and it begins the upload and we get a success message. Navigating back to the Steam Workshop, we can confirm that our changes have been pushed as we now see that the complexity is high complexity. If you navigate to the Steam Workshop shortly after uploading it from Tabletop Simulator, you may notice this message at the top that says that Steam is performing its automated content check. This should disappear shortly after the check is completed. And that's all you need to know about uploading to the Steam Workshop in Tabletop Simulator. If you found this tutorial helpful, consider subscribing to the channel for future Tabletop Simulator tutorials. You can also find a written version of this tutorial in the description below, as well as a survey for giving feedback on what types of tutorials you'd like to see in the future. Happy gaming!